So last snowboard season, I used a huge variety of different action camera mounts because I like to have a huge variety of different types of shots and perspective because nobody wants to watch the same old shot and angle, you know, all day long. I like to have a huge variety so that when I'm making my videos, I have a lot of different pieces I can pull from. Plus, certain perspectives show different shots and different angles and different landscapes and they just, different mounts are better for different situations and scenarios. So what I wanted to do in this video was take you through my least favorite to favorite action camera mounts that I use for snowboarding. Now these will work, all but one will work for any action camera. Although personally, I like the Insta360 cameras the best. These will work for any action camera with the exception of one. There is one that is Insta360 specific, but other than that, you can use any of these with any action camera that you own. And just because I'm ranking them from least to most favorite, I love each and every one of these. So don't think one is you know way better than the other. I love all these, but these are just based off of my personal use last year, which ones I prefer. Also, make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm gonna be showing you some of the new mounts that I've picked up to use this upcoming season. And definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see those mounts when I put them into action. I'll do a review of each different one and type. Definitely be on the lookout for that because I just, like I said, I just love having a huge variety of action camera mounts. So without further ado, let's dive into this list. So first up on this list is the Insta360 Bullet Time. As I said, this is the only one on the list that is gonna be specific to the Insta360 cameras. The rest will work for any, but this one you have to have the Insta360 camera to be able to get this shot. The thing I love about this shot is it gives a really, really cool and unique slow-mo perspective. I think it's awesome for getting different mountaintop shots or landscapes or if you're you know, crashing through a powder field or a really cool shot of your whole group while you're riding. It's just a really fun shot to be able to throw into your content and kind of spice it up a little bit, you know, something different that you're not gonna see in a normal everyday action camera shot. So in order to get this shot, what you're gonna need is the bullet time handle. Now there is also a retractable cord version available if you don't want it. I personally like the handle because it's just easy to throw in my bag, it's gonna fit right on your selfie stick, and also it can turn into a tripod if need be. So what you're gonna do is you just screw your selfie stick onto the end of the bullet time handle. You're gonna screw your camera on. Get that set up. Now this is the most important tip. This is the most crucial thing because I've made this mistake several times. What you're gonna wanna go into, on your Insta360 camera, make sure you are set to bullet time. If you're not set to bullet time, it's gonna completely, it's just, it's just not gonna work. Trust me, I've made that mistake too many times. So then, once you're out on the hill snowboarding, you're gonna fully extend your selfie stick. I'm not gonna do it in here because I'm gonna hit the wall and you're gonna make sure this is unlocked at the top. You're just gonna sort of spin it around like this, and it's gonna produce a really, really cool shot. I've also seen some cool people do some stuff with it vertically like this. Just gives you something really fun to play around with. Like I said, it shows the landscape off, and I think it's really, really cool. This isn't a shot I'm gonna use every day, like at my local resort. I don't typically use it, but when I go on trips, I always love having this, and plus, this thing's small enough, I can just keep it in my bag. The way I use it too is I'll film, get that really cool action shot, and then a lot of times I'll just go on and stop real quick in a safe spot on the slope, either throw this back in my backpack or just put it on the bottom of my selfie stick. And I'll just ride down like this with a slightly extended selfie stick till I get to the bottom and I can put this back in my backpack. Next on the list, how would you like to get the look of the invisible selfie stick, but without the hassle of having to keep your arm out, hold your arm up and and your arm gets tired after holding a selfie stick for so long. That's where the Insta360 Unicorn mount comes in. This is gonna mount onto the front of your helmet. It's gonna give you the look of having that invisible selfie stick, but allow you to be hands-free, which if you're like me, I love being able to have my hands free snowboarding. And so it's just a nice convenience factor. Still be able to get a really cool shot, but be able to keep your hands free to use as you're going through the trees or move around, or maybe you're like me and you like to throw a tripod in. You can't do that with something in your hand. So the Insta360 Unicorn mount is a really fun mount to use. I didn't pick it up till later in the season, so I will definitely be using it a whole lot more in this next upcoming season. It's a little bit awkward to ride with, but once you get used to the feeling of the weight on your helmet, you can ride pretty much just like normal and you almost forget that it's there. And while this does work really well for horizontal video, I've also found that it works really great when you're doing vertical video, like for a YouTube short or TikTok, Instagram, that kind of content. It works really great because it's gonna give you that nice tall perspective. It lets you see your whole body, all your body mechanics, as well as still seeing your snowboard and feet. Let me show you how to use the unicorn mount. So, 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna mount it onto the front of your helmet here. And one pro tip, if you order the unicorn mount, it is linked in the description below, as well as the rest of these mounts, all my gear, everything is down in that description. It's gonna come with these little plastic pieces that you can put on the tip right here. It's basically like a little spacer. You're gonna need that because otherwise the weight of the camera is gonna slowly pull the selfie stick down. That little spacer helps keep it upright in the mount. That little spacer just basically keeps it from moving anytime you hit a jump or throughout the riding because otherwise this mount just slowly starts to fall down. So you're gonna mount it to the front of your helmet like this. Then your Insta360 or any action camera it's gonna go on to the bottom of it, just like that. And voila, get the unicorn mount. This will work great with any action camera. You just might have to tweak the angle a little bit, but I do think with a 360 camera, this is gonna work the best because it's gonna eliminate the pole like it does with the invisible selfie stick. Now, one thing to note with this mount, you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure to give your helmet a few extra cranks. Tighten it down and be a little more snug just to counter that weight that's going to be hanging over your head. But again, this is a really fun mounting option. I definitely plan on using this a lot this season. I've also seen some really cool things where people have mounted it to the side as well as on the back of your helmet. So I'm definitely going to be trying those out as well. This, this helmet's going to be covered in camera mounts. Now next up on the list is my most used action camera mount for the snowboard season. And that's going to be your classic head cam. You just simply mount your camera in front of your helmet like so. And the great thing I love about using this with a 360 camera versus a regular GoPro, although a regular GoPro or any action camera will work, I really prefer having a 360 camera up here because the great thing about it is how many times have you been snowboarding trying to get that perfect shot with your action camera? You go to review the footage and you miss the angle. Well, the great thing about sticking a 360 camera onto the front of your helmet like this is it allows you to just ride, not worry so much about the angle, and you're gonna reframe that shot later to be able to get anything, make sure you didn't miss the shot, and you're just gonna enjoy riding and not be fretting over if your, your camera's moving back and forth. So again, this is my most used mount. This will work with any camera, but with the 360 camera, it's definitely gonna give you a little bit more versatility when it comes to the shot. You're not gonna have to worry so much about the angle. And you can also reframe it to look back at yourself, or if something happens to one of your buddies while you're riding, you quickly pan over, look at that, and then go back. This is gonna give you that most classic POV that you're used to seeing from snowboard footage. Your head is gonna help keep this super stable because your head basically on your neck kind of acts like a gimbal. So that's one thing I really love is that this shot offers a lot of stability when you're riding. Plus, frankly, I just love this because again, I love being hands-free. I like being able to move my arms and use it, especially when I go through the trees and stuff. You don't have to worry about my camera in my hand or my lens getting scratched as much because it's you know right there, right up against my head. Definitely my favorite and most used mount. Now, lastly on this list has to be the invisible selfie stick. Now, everybody loves the selfie stick shot. I think it is my most favorite to watch. I think it produces the coolest results. And the great thing about using a 360 camera is it's gonna make this invisible, which still to this day, even though it's been around for a while, blows people's minds. And they're like, how did you get that shot? It looks like you have a drone following you. So it's really, really cool. I love riding with the selfie stick. Um, but after so long, you know, your arms do get tired. That is the drawback, is that you constantly have your arm out like this. Eventually you are gonna get some arm fatigue, but definitely my favorite way to shoot the only reason it's not my most used is because my arm gets tired. And the cool thing about it is you can hold your arm up higher, it's gonna give you more landscape. You can go down low and it's gonna make it look like you're going really fast. You can hold it behind you and it's gonna produce like a really cool almost third person video game look. There's a lot of versatility to the selfie stick. Definitely my favorite as well as I'd say most people's favorite footage to watch when they're watching snowboarding on YouTube. Simply because it's gonna allow you to see your entire body, the landscape, your snowboard, everything kind of functioning, all the terrain, everything just produces a really, really excellent shot. Truth be told, I didn't like riding with a selfie stick as much until the Insta360, simply because I think the way that the weight is distributed better with the, the 1X2 or the X3, I think it distributes the weight a little bit better on the selfie stick, it makes it feel lighter, and so it doesn't feel like you have this heavy weight kind of bogging you down at the end of the stick, and it just, it does help to eliminate, I think, some of that arm fatigue that you get while riding with a selfie stick just because of the weight distribution, as well as this is just a really lightweight selfie stick. This selfie stick is awesome. It's got a really good grip, extendable. You don't have to twist it, no locks, anything like that. Can't recommend this selfie stick enough. Even if you're filming with like a non-Insta360 camera, the Insta360 selfie stick is an excellent, excellent selfie stick. And you can buy the attachment to go on the tip that allows it to fit your traditional action camera mat like this. 
so those are all the mounts that I used last season. I do want to show you some of the new ones I've picked up to use in this upcoming season that I think is going to be really cool, give me even more tricks on my bag and more camera angles that I'm able to pull off. So I picked up the backpack mount. It's going to clip to your backpack. It's going to give a really cool third person shot. I'm really, really excited to try this one out. I picked up the back bar mount. It's going to be kind of similar to the backpack, but if I'm not riding with a backpack, I can just have this strapped around my waist. I've used this mountain biking a couple times and it's got some really, really cool angles. Definitely something I plan on playing with snowboarding. I think if I wear it kind of on my side, it's going to give a really cool shot. And again, hands-free. Can't stress enough how much I love riding hands-free. And the third one that I picked up is the extended selfie stick. This selfie stick is massive. 10 feet long, biggest selfie stick I have ever seen in my life. And it is a little bit heavier, it does have a wider grip, but the whole stick is carbon fiber, so that does help eliminate as much weight, you know, as much weight as you can in a selfie stick this gigantic. This thing's a, it's a weapon, man. I cannot wait to use this. It's gonna give a really, really cool shot, so definitely be on the lookout. I'm gonna be throwing all these new mounts in. I might do a review for each individual mount as well. I hope that you all were able to find this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're able to pick up and use some of these new mounts or try something different with your action camera this season. If you did find this video helpful, please smash that like button. It's gonna really help me out. Subscribe. I got a lot of great snowboard content coming. I'm gonna be using all of these mounts this season. We're going to Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. It's gonna be my most traveled snowboard season ever. And I'm so, so pumped to be able to take you guys along for the ride. All of these mounts, as well as the rest of my snowboard gear, is linked down in the description below if you're interested in picking any of them up. It's gonna help support the channel. It's gonna really help me out. If you have any questions about any of my gear, any of these camera mounts, anything like that, leave those in the comments below. I respond to every single comment. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this. Hope you all are getting snow soon and we're ready to get out there and start this 2022, 2023 snowboard season. Again, I'm Alex from Boards, Bikes, and Hikes. I'll see you in the next one soon.